Welcome back. Now, my name is Ted Thomas, and I've been involved in real estate for the past 30 years. And I tell you about an unusual way to get to financial independence. Now, this is not going to be what you'd expect to hear from investment gurus or financial planners. This is going to be a little different. I'm more of a practical person, so I'm going to get away from all the academic stuff that you might learn about how to become financially independent. So we're going to talk about how to achieve financial independence. Now, when I say that, I'm not going to give you pages of wonderful lifestyle recommendations and things like that. Now, I don't think you're going to be satisfied with that, and I don't think you're going to watch the YouTube video all the way through, and I don't think you're going to look at my blog if I only give you touchy-feely stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about making some money. Now, most people really don't care about reading about lifestyle issues. They don't care to read and learn about, you know, earn more money, spend less money. They've heard all that stuff. People in my world want to know how to make money, and so that's what I teach them. Now, as I said, I'm a little on the practical side, but I'm going to show you how to earn money. So I'm going to tell you how to do something that's already proven, it's already been tested, it's been around for over 200 years. All right, now there's dozens of financial planners, advisors, and they're going to give you lots of fluff. For goodness sake, you don't need fluff. If you want to be financially independent, you're going to have to go out and make money. Let me say that again. All right, so what do they do? A lot of advisors want to give you, you know, buzzwords and things that are really cutesy to talk about on television and on podcasts and whatever. So I'm just going to give you some street smart examples as I go, and you'll learn a little bit about how people actually make money. And it's not too fancy for the blog, it's not too fancy for the video, but it's the real world, and that's what you want. So my example is not going to be spend less and earn money. Or, oh my goodness, I don't think that's too exciting. Okay, I'm not going to tell you be a master of self-control. You don't need to hear that stuff. What you really want to know is how to make money. So I'm not in the touchy-feely business, so here's some advice that's not coming from the ivory tower. It's not going to be touchy-feely. So I'm not going to say maximize your savings. Folks, if you're talking about savings, the banks are paying 1%. That must be some kind of joke. Maximize 1%. Banks are paying 1%. How are you ever going to maximize 1%? It's not going to happen. Okay, so plenty of these people are saying, set a budget. Well, you don't need a budget. What you need to do is you need to think about going out and making money. All right, now, you're already spending every dime that you earn. So you're not going to save a lot of money. So you're going to have to think about OPM, other people's money to do this, and you need to start making money now. All right, you want to have five-figure income? You can certainly do that with this business. All right, here's another gem that I love to see. You need to save more money. No kidding. How are you going to save money? It's almost impossible to save money. You're probably going to have to borrow money if you're going to make big money. All right, now ac academia is kind of bumping around. What are they doing? They're trying to give you lots of advice when it's written down. But if someone starts talking to you about tax advantage accounts, have you got seven figures in your portfolio that you got to worry about tax advantage accounts? Are you Jeff Bezos? Are you some rich guy? You don't need to worry about tax advantage if you don't have any money. So before you start worrying about those kind of accounts, let's just kind of talk about how we can get you to making money and not worry about a seven-figure portfolio. All right, so all the recommendations I'm going to make are not going to be just make a nice video, make a nice blog so that it reads good. What you need to know is how we're going to get to work and do this. So I'm going to show you how to accumulate some money. I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you how my students do it. All right, I'm not going to show you a plan. I'm just going to tell you how we did it, and then you can do the same thing. You could copycat it. All right, now someone who earns money and spends all the money, well, they're going to have to learn about getting some money from other people. Matter of fact, if you're going to get wealthy, you're going to have to learn about OPM, other people's money. However, maybe you meet someone along the way that's bootstrapped their way up and made it. So step number one, how do you get started? You want to be successful? Start asking questions of successful people. Now, I don't mean people that someone gave them the money to get started. Someone that started a business you need to sit down and talk to them. You need to get their attention, buy them a coffee or a steak dinner or whatever, and figure out what they did. Because that's going to be practical stuff, not about these cutesy little touchy-feely sayings. That's not going to help you. So let me tell you about Mr. B. Mr. B came to me. He was broke, but he had a credit card. He was broke. He had been making it, doing a little bit here and a little bit there. But he didn't hurt his credit. So he took his credit card and got started in this business. All right. Now, he didn't use his credit card at Macy's or Walmart or any retail store. He used his credit card 
to buy tax defaulted property. And he ended up with over 60 properties in his portfolio and he sold them by using a contract of sale, which simply means an installment contract. So people could pay the installments to him, all right? Not only did he pay off his credit cards that way, but he had nice income coming in. Over a six year period, he did 60 of these properties. He purchased them with a credit card, he paid off his credit card as the payments came in, and he used installment sale. All right, so I'm not gonna tell you adjust your life style. I'm not gonna tell you about diversification. You're gonna have to take some action. The key to this whole thing is you've gotta take action if you're gonna get well. All right, so my name is Ted Thomas. I've been doing this for 30 years. Now, I'm gonna tell you about a 200-year-old system. That's right, it's been around for 200 years. There's nothing glamorous about it. It's not pretty. Matter of fact, it's ugly and sometimes it's dirty. It's not a piece of cake, but it's not difficult either. For sure, it's not gonna impress your friends, your relatives, or your family. But with a little training and with a little bit of money, it's honest, it's ethical, and you can reach what you want. The lesson is all about how to achieve financial independence. Both of the people that I'm gonna tell you about today, they found financial independence by just getting out and doing some work. So I'm gonna discuss the question, financial independence, but I'm gonna give you some answers and they're real answers. All right, so if you wanna make a lot of money, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to find a business that's that way. So 30 years ago, I discovered a business that you could buy low and then you could sell low and you could make money. That's like Costco, Target, Walmart, that's what they do. So I'll put this business in a nutshell, it works like this. The local government sometimes can't collect taxes, all right? If that county can't collect taxes, the legislature takes action. The legislature simply says, if the property owner doesn't pay taxes, then levy the tax, try to collect the tax, and then if you can't collect it, confiscate the property. So that's exactly what the treasurer does. Now the treasurer confiscates that property, what are they gonna do with it? Well, I can tell you what they're doing. They're gonna sell the property. They don't want the property, they just want the taxes. So they're gonna sell that property at auction for 10 cents, 20 cents, or 30 cents on the dollar. Now think about that. They're getting rid of the property for absolute bargain price. That means you'd be getting a discount of 60, 70, and 80% on that property just to get started. All right, so why I like the business is I could see right away, if I could buy it for very close to the back taxes, I could sell it for any price I want. So I could make money on that margin. Well, you can make money on that margin too because there's 3,000 counties that sell these properties, okay? So what did my friend do? Well, Mr. Bill, what he simply did is he bought those properties at auction using a credit card and then he put them back on the market and he advertised that he would do an installment sale. That attracted people from everywhere because they were looking for financing. And sure enough, he got payments, he paid off his credit cards, and then he has good income. He did 60 of those deals in six years. You don't have to do it anywhere near that many. He purchased with a credit card, he was able to pay off the credit card, and he was able to have great income. 60 properties in six years. All right, now Paul was the same kind of student. Okay, now he read all the same academic books, which told him, take care of your health maximize your savings account, diversify. They told them all, folks, you don't need all that. What you need to do is you need to find a money-making program or find a money-making business and make money. You'll be able to teach how to achieve financial independence. You're not gonna achieve it by reading all these books. You're gonna have to do something about it. You're gonna have to get out and work. So he figured, Paul did, he quickly figured out how to make money and become financially independent. Within five years, he had himself earning $15,000 a month from those installment sales. So what's my point here? My point is, I'm not negative on ac academia, but I am telling you, you're not gonna read books telling you to save more money. You'll never save yourself to being wealthy. It's never gonna happen. This is a simple process. You follow the rules and you become financially independent. The rules are simple. Other people have done it. They buy low, they sell low, and they use installment sale. They've been doing that for decades. This is not something new. It's been around the United States for over 200 years. Local governments are challenged because people don't pay their property tax. Property owners fail to pay, the local government then confiscates the property, they sell it for pennies. Why do they sell it for pennies? Because they don't want the property. They've already got all the parks, they've got all the schools, they've got all the administration buildings. They don't want any of that. So they're just gonna sell the property to put it back on the tax roll. 
All they want is the yearly taxes on those properties. Now, who made the rules for all that? The state legislature made the rule. I didn't make the rule. They passed the law that said property owners must pay property tax. So if those property owners pay, well, they're fine. If they don't pay, well, then the county's going to going to confiscate the property. Now, why do they confiscate the property? Simply because the county has bills. Police department, fire department, pay for the schools, pay the county employees. They have hundreds of bills to pay. Where are they going to get the money from? They get it from property taxes. All right, so if the property owner fails to pay, you need to know about those auctions. This channel is all about tax defaulted property and tax lien certificates. The county levies a tax. If they can't collect the tax, then they're going to confiscate the property and put it out into the market. If it's out in the market and you can buy it for 10 cents on the dollar, could you sell it for 50 cents on the dollar and have a profit on that margin? Well, of course you did. In some cases, they're discounting these properties 60%, 70 80% discounts on real estate. Where else are you going to make that kind of money? You have to save some more money. You don't have to diversify. You don't have to set a new lifestyle. You need to go out and make some money. So my students buy these properties low, then they mark them up and they sell them. Well, isn't that the same thing that Target does, that Costco does? Those stores do that. Walmart's been doing it for decades. Buy low and sell low and do a lot of it. You can do the exact same thing. Now, my name is Ted Thomas, and I finished this video, but before I do, I want to mention right below me is, is a free gift for you. But if you are going to go out and buy these properties, don't buy any properties that you haven't looked at. What do I mean by that? You need to have boots on the ground and see what the property is. Some of these properties are junkers, but even worse than that, what if you bought a property and there was a hurricane the day before, or there was a fire, or there was a flood, or something went wrong? Well, now you don't have a property you couldn't get rid of. So you need to have boots on the ground. Second big mistake people make is they get to the auction and they bid the properties up and they bid them up too much. So always know what you can sell for. The beauty of the business is before you ever spend a dime, you can look at that property and know what you're going to sell it for and figure all that out. My name is Ted Thomas. I'll see you on the next video.